Welcome back students. Hope you all have taken your exam in a well-mannered way as per the instructions given by me by following the important tips and the questions. In today's video, upon the request of many students, I have come up with one more course. It's all about the system of chip. Uh, system on chip architecture uh, which is a common subject for the electronics and communication engineering under j and u h for r e h in regulation dear students before going to take this exam a student should have basic fundamentals for the course embedded system design then this subject is easy for the students who are taking this the first and foremost question and it's all about the diagrammatical representation and the circuit i mean the architectures need to be drawn and worked out only in pencil approach for soc design and the process architecture along with the neat sketch and the system level interconnection and addressing and memory this may be the part of 2a as well as 2b and 1aj dear students and the system architecture need to be worked out along with the neat sketch and define the term complexity and the various components of the system related to hardware and uh, software you are not supposed to skip any part of the question so that it may be in form of 2a and from here it may be 2b and from here it may be 3a or 3b likewise hope you know that the question paper pattern as you are taking the exam and the second unit questions are are related to the fourth as well as the fifth the processor and the types and the architecture along with the and the difference among them is said to be the one of the top most question for sure you may be getting any type of processor you're not supposed to skip any processor here like VL, uh, vlw versus super scalar and the robust and the uh, vector processor and the buffers and along with an example and pipeline delays is said to be the top most question which may occur in 4a 4b and the selection of soc and the basic concepts of soc and and the processor uh, micro architecture along with the basic concepts is said to be the topmost question instruction handling along with its elements is also said to be one of the very important question in the branches may be the short question this may be the part of the second unit that may be the question number four and five do not skip any part of my video and focus on each and every content later i have jumped into the unit five as a unit three is too lengthy in its structure you have less time so i have taken into consideration unit four dear students and the unit four question numbers are eight and nine in the question paper hope you are taking your exam so neatly by following my tips on how to take the short questions a video is being posted in this channel define the term bus and the architectures and the soc standard buses and bus model related to analytical as well as soc customization from this you are going to get one question related to eight and related to the ninth question it is all about the interconnect architecture and their advantages disadvantages respect to the bus and the interconnect architecture and the effects of bus transactions and contention time this is said to the one of the very important question related to the bus and the interconnect architecture maybe the damn sure question this time later i have taken into consideration unit 5 this is all about the 10th and the 11th question dear students 10th and 11th question and the mapping design on to recognize reconfigurable devices explain the term along with a neat sketch reconfiguration along related to the parallelism as well as the technologies and the overhead analysis versus trade-off analysis may be the difference related to the reconfiguration it is said to the topmost and one short question which may occur in 10th or 11th the term instruction processor and its design is said to be the topmost question in the soft processor from this you are going to get two questions for sure and you have worked out the long questions you could be able to work out even the short question dear students have come up with only few questions from the unit 3 whoever is interested can go through this unit and certain part of the questions may be covered in the exam that is all about the 6th and 7th soc the internal and the external memory along with its size and the types of cache is set to be the topmost question and the differences split i and d cache the short question and the models of simple processor and the cache memory and scratch pads maybe the short question cache data along with its organization the long question virtual to real translation maybe the topmost question these are set of the very important questions for the course system on chip architecture if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it immediately as well as share this content with your friends who are taking this course and do not forget to share the my channel with your juniors so that may reach them and help them in form of very important question and do not forget to subscribe dear students as you all are the final year students taking this exam uh, for the last exams to try to score the better mark and i am going to upload few important videos related to how to crack the interviews in the coming futures this is all about this or system on chip architecture this is chandrasekhar utapuri signing off for today good luck dear students if you're looking for any other course do not forget to comment in the comment section thank you